Hi everybody, it's Miha. Been gone for a while. I've been practicing some new things and making a lot of new art. But today I'm excited. I want to share with you the basics of one of the styles that I use to paint my very popular fish. In the marketplace, people have been loving them and they're selling as fast as I can make them. So I thought maybe you guys might want to know how to make your own. So the circle that I laid out there was just so that I would have a midline on the fish, kind of keep that circle down the middle of his back. Don't use markers or anything other than a pencil very lightly on your canvases before you pour these. Um, otherwise, the lines will bleed through your painting as it dries. So you can see I'm just laying down the basic colors where I want them to be. And I'm basically drawing with the paint, just like you would with a pencil or a brush. Your fish can be any color you want it to be, of course, but uh, this is uh, the most popular color palette so far for the fish that I make. Now you want to lay your lines close enough together so that in the next phase you'll be able to pull them together and create a scaled effect. This is a pottery tool, a sculpting tool. It's silicone and rubber tipped and it has a fine point. Paint doesn't stick to it. I use it to make my scales. You can also do this with any stick or any pointed object. I just also happen to sculpt in my spare time so I have some of those tools around. A little tip about your eyes when you put your dot in for your eyes make sure that you are going with less paint in that spot because they will spread and then you'll have great big googly eyes unless you want big googly eyes and then that's how you get them. I'm just back filling with the black now. So you don't want to put the paint of the black when you do this style um, too close to the actual painting. You want to just give it a little bit, maybe a quarter inch away from where you want the paint to actually be next to your already laid image. This allows you to push the paint up to the paint uh, that was priorly there and without it being heavy and smooshing your subject matter in because if you have too much paint the weight of the paint will actually push your fish into a nice skinny eel shape um, and it won't look like a fish anymore. So in order to hold the form you want to also control um, the depth and the the edges of your paint. You just really want to control those edges so that you can get it to just kiss. In this case it would be the black kissing the white. Now I don't put the last tail fin um, in or the side fins in and yes they can have another pair of fins at the bottom but I think it clutters things up so I leave them out but that's just my artistic thing. But I do it on top of the black because um, in this case I'm using a ball and chain chain that I have dipped in paint and I just drag it through the black and the white in an arc shape to create some really wonderful fins that have some lacing and some bubbles and it looks like movement, it looks like the fish is actually turning in the water. You can also do this with just a palette knife and drag um, just like this, like I'm using this palette knife here. I switch back and forth between tools often, cleaning it after every time I touch the paint. Now this is just me futzing and I, and I do a lot of it. So um, I'm so glad that you guys came today and are watching this video. Hi everybody out there. Thanks so much. I appreciate you like you wouldn't believe. And I hope you had fun watching. And if you make a fish, for heaven's sakes, tag us or something. We want to see what you did. I'm excited. I hope somebody comes up with something new to share too. We can all invent this. Have a great day. Know that we love you every day. And I'll see you soon.